All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and of course over on YouTube. Hiya, Bofa. So we got Hadana's Stompy yet again. This has been one of the most popular decks to play on YouTube so far and, you know, one of my favorite decks to play. Colin, howdy. Hey, Spanky with the resub there. Sub number 13 on the day. So I'm making a few small changes to the deck. Um, Crowl Harpooner hasn't been a, a card that we've used too much in general. So I'm, I'm trying taking those out and putting in Vivian Reads, just putting those in the main deck. I'm not sure if that's really going to be a, a good change or not. You know, we'll, we'll kind of see here. We may regret not having just another two drop in the deck um, to kind of help us curve out more and help Galtas and everything. But Vivians have just always been so good, of course. It's just such a great card. Um, Dibs asks, is it, is it worth it to craft Vivians at the moment or smarter to wait for the new metagame? I have 13 Mythic Wild Cards. It's probably just safe to... It's probably just best to wait um, for the new metagame. I mean, Vivian is, is a really good card, and I don't expect it to stop seeing play kind of thing. Um, so... If you want to play him now, I, I really don't I don't mind because yeah I'm not expecting Vivian to not see play but if if you feel like you can wait and you want to wait uh, don't hate that but you know you do have 13 Mythic Wild cards so I think either way is a good decision I don't mind using them uh, besides that over in the sideboard uh, we had two Reclamation Sages before or so like the two Harpooners that w that were in the main. They're just going over to the sideboard. The Vivians from the sideboard come to the main deck, so that's like the, the swap there. Playing a couple Brontodons, because Brontodons a whole lot better against Red, where we can have something that can kill Frenzy and be a lot better blocker. Rex Sage we don't like there because of Chain Whirler, um, but Rex Sage is better against History of Benalia than Thrashing Brontodon. So we're kind of kind of switching, like moving those together. Brontodon's better against Jeskai, where you can play it and it doesn't die to Deafening Clarion and can destroy something where Rex Sage does. So. You know, we're kind of hedging that way, kind of filling those slots out. All right. Let's go Hadana Stompy. What do you think about this deck going Bant for Unbreakable Formation and a Johnny? Um, I think there's already lots of non-creature spells in the deck, and it's hard. Basically, at that point, you'd have to cut Nullhide Ferox. You can't really play Nullhide with those those other spells also and all the other spells. Um, in the deck, uh, but you could prob like you may be able to play a Bant deck with Steel Leaf Champion. It's, it's it'd certainly be hard to play Steel Leaf Champion and a Johnny. Um, so I think I think you'd probably just basically make a different deck. I don't think you'd really play Steel Leaf Champion or Nullhide Ferox. You'd just kind of make a different Bant deck at that point. Yes, Nullhide is much better than Vine Mare. Yes. No, I have not worked on any Eldrazi Tron updates. I do not. I have not. All right, so we got a good good opening hand here with turn two Steel Leaf. Yeah, we'll go turn two Steel Leaf. Thought Erasure. Unfortunately, we don't have a Nullhide Ferox to kind of be like, hey, opponent, why don't you take me? Yeah, we're getting more shocks. No fetch lands in standard, but we're getting more shock lands. Do I play around Ritual Sit or nah? Nah. I'm going to barely play around Ritual Sid. I'm going to keep the land war off of my hand. The Branch Walker just replaced itself, so that's fine. That's kind of the problem with Galta. Galta is real bad against against removal heavy decks. Ugh. I'm certainly thinking, I was like, I really hope they don't just have Man, I was definitely thinking that too. I was like, hope they don't have um, Eldest Reborn. Of course, I'm discarding Galta here. So I'm just not going to play it. 
Never mind. Now we just get to discard a forest. There we go. Alright, now they, they get my Galta and this game's over. Okay, so we want the negates. I want the extra Vivian. Get rid of Galta. Um, climb. Gets reduced as well whenever our opponents are removing our creatures. Something that pumps up the creatures a little bit is not as valuable. Rexage and Brontodon are... Hmm... I have Vivian that destroys Aldous Reborn. Rexage and Brontodon can, can you know, do some stuff. And I like that Ripjaw Raptor doesn't die to Ritual of Soot. I just want to get rid of Wild Growth Walker. So if I get rid of Wild Growth Walker and I play two Ripjaw, a Brontodon, nah, we'll just have Vivian. I just, we'll still play a couple Wild Growth Walkers. Yeah, I'm just going to cut one. I'm going to trim one walker for one Ripjaw. Oh, you like har Harpooner here? Yeah, they, they probably have Bolas and Doom Whisperer. I would assume they'd have both of those. Yep, we're a good old Simic deck. I don't know. I don't know if Rhythm's better than Hadana's Climb, honestly. I'm not I'm not convinced Rhythm is better than Hadana's Climb. Cinder Vines I think can be an okay sideboard card. Um Yeah, I think Cinder Vines can be an okay sideboard card. That's what I'm looking at for that card. For Rhythm of the Wild to be the best, you know, you need you need the um, the claws of your creatures not getting countered to be um, you know real useful claws. Which I'm not I'm not convinced. There's just gonna be tons of counter spell decks everywhere, kind of thing. Well, that's what, hopefully, hopefully I'm helping you learn there, Mitchin. <laughs> Land where else is tardy, mark it down. You are tardy, Land where Elf. Another... I am not negating a counter spell here on Hadana's Climb. I want to be able to play Vivian with negate back up next turn. Yeah, I want the negate to protect Vivian. Vivian's our important card here.
Uh, Vras's Contempt is their main way to remove Vivian Reed. And then, yeah, Eldritch Reborn sometimes gets the job done, but Vras's Contempt is the main thing. Zerf, going good today. We've been getting lots of subs. Ooh, we are 11. Looks like the new sub counter didn't get up. Okay, we are 11 subscribers away from the new emote. If we get there, then I'll be adding another 12-hour stream either on either on Friday or Saturday. We're already doing a 12-hour stream on Thursday. Hmm. So if our opponent wants to target Nullhide Ferox, they have to pay the two mana to not give it hexproof anymore. And if they do that, then I'll be able to dive down to protect it. So yeah, if you if you enjoy the stream and have always thought about maybe subscribing, this is a perfect time to do it. Hey, Sabaku Blood! Getting that sub in there for the second month in a row. I get some hype. All right. So that's sub number 14 on the day. Unfortunately, our opponent had multiple cast downs there for our poor Nullhide Ferox. Our opponents had the answer for our cards. They've had the Contempt for Vivian, multiple cast downs there. They've had the answers. And our deck doesn't work the, too well with this many lands. Hmm. Do I even play Steel Leaf? Yeah, I guess so. I should have kept that Forest in hand because Nickel Bolas. Yeah, I should I should have held a land in hand. Ah, he's got all the answers. Hey Dagmar. Oh yeah, there's lots of mana sinks in standard in general. Um, not really any in our deck besides Vivian. Dang. Okay, here we go. That's a card. No, I don't have an Arch of Araska. We're only a 24 land deck, so we're certainly not trying to... Um, certainly not, not trying to, you know, to get to this point in the game kind of thing. Like, you know, we're a stompy deck. Only have 24 lands. I'm glad I got I didn't keep the negate because I I want to draw Vivian. Vivian would be great. Ugh. Gotta get rid of this Elder Scrubborn. They haven't drawn a single threat. Just all answers. So they're going to make me discard, or they're going to probably go get Nullhide, or no, 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 I guess Steel Leaf Champion. No, probably Jade Light. They probably just take Jade Light. Tilt. It's 
Not a good time for a dive down. Of course, the dive down would just get discarded to Nickel Bola, so might as well get some kind of value out of it. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling okay. Legend. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna beat this Nickel Bolas. They can just draw two pretty safely here. Isn't death I think that that play like just helps us out a lot because that play, we get to now attack Nicol Bolas and kill Nicol Bolas. I think they could just tick up and draw two cards. All right, well, never mind. Have an answer. Yeah, now we can't beat sabotage. Uh, I didn't even bring in Carnage Tyrant in this matchup because I was worried about having a lot. I was worried about having six mana, and then didn't necessarily think that we would have six mana. I will make so I didn't even bring in Carnage Tyrant here. Is a match. And we're just sitting here with 11. We just can't win with 11, 11 lands in play. Does you know who I am? How? What does our opponent have? Do they just have lots of lands or something? What is going on here? How do they not even counter that? They're just let Riptar Raptor kill their Nicol Bolas? Yeah, maybe it's just a bunch of ritual of sets. Arena info for new players. Um, for new players, uh, level one. That's that's the info. It's not it's not arena for new players. Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. The arena stuff is is a uh, vault. I have it under vault there. That one's under vault. All right, Grix has got us. Too much removal. And I was too slow there that second game. The contempt for for my Vivian, you know, I I had counterspell protection for Vivian and I had dive down protection for Nullhide, and those are like my two threats, um, and they they had two answers. They they had like you know try to counter my Vivian and then untap contempt, so I couldn't I couldn't protect it twice there, and then they had double cast down for the Nullhide. Those certainly hurt. All right, hit on a stompy. We got to stomp a little better here. For match number two. Hey, 
Hey! Gorum with the bits. 5 1, I believe. Thanks, Gorum. Um, all right, filling out the stuff for the YouTube video for Rakdos mid-range there. This is good hands. And that's a good card to keep. Definitely going with turn two, Steel Leaf Champion on the play. But, you know, being able to follow that up with, like, Daylight Ranger is good. Yep, Thursday for RNA. You'll find me doing a 12-hour stream on Thursday. Playing lots of sealed. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna just keep the dive down. I like I like the dive down protecting or like basically protecting our trades. And keeping the card there meant J Light Ranger would become a four three, it'd get another counter and be bigger than their um, Thorn Lieutenant, which I thought was pretty nice. Alright, I don't actually want this Wild Growth Walker. But I want these these creatures to be three twos, because I you know I'm gonna just try to win this game next turn. So I want the branch walkers to both be three twos. And that's that's just lethal. No reason to show our opponent Hadana's climb. No, I'm 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 not I won't be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'll be playing the new cards on Thursday, though. Hmm. Is there mono green? So we're, we're certainly going to be relying on Hadana's Climb here to kind of go bigger. I think I just want some Ripjaw Raptors as, like, kind of good blockers. Um, can probably take out some Dive Downs. Maybe just take out all the dive downs. I kind of like how dive down helps my creatures trade, though. See, that's that's what we're trying to do. That's why I don't have like Arch of Araskas in the deck. You know, like we're we're a stompy deck. I'm trying to kill people. Do I want other Vivian? Like the board stalls out and like Vivian's just kind of win? Certainly see that. I'll just take their Vivian. Do, 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 do. Okay, where's this Rakdos midrange deck list? There you are. They just released a trailer for the new Spider-Man movie. Wait, I thought there just was a new Spider-Man movie. There's another new Spider-Man movie? I, is it, I, yeah, wasn't there just a, a Spider-Man movie? There are so many Spider-Man movies. They had those ones with, you know, in like the early 2000s. And the water there. 
Okay. So there was like the ones in the 2000s, and then weren't there like they're like new ones, and then like other ones like like earlier 2010s, and then there's like new ones that are Marvel right now, and then there's also Spider Verse, basically. Like are there four like since like the 2000s have there been like four different series of Spider-Man movies? Like do I have that right? Oh, I meant to play Woodland Stream, but whatever. We got all lands. Okay, so Into the Spider-Verse was just something else. Because they had like, because I watched like the early 2000 ones with like, oh, I don't, I don't remember the actor, but with like Kirsten Dunst. Like those were right when I was in like high school, college. Tobey Maguire ones, yeah. So the Tobey Maguire ones, I remember those. And then I thought they kind of redid that. So they redid that with Andrew Garfield. And and now there's a Tom Holland one also. Yes, yeah, so I, I didn't really see the Andrew Garfield ones. I didn't see those. And I haven't seen the other Tom Holland one either. I know Tom Holland was great. And I saw Tom Holland, of course, in the... Um, In the uh, the new Avengers movie, he was great in that. Uh, but I didn't actually see the the Spider-Man Homecoming movie because, like, I I feel like I already like the so you have. So we have like the to Toby Maguire ones. Like, aren't they just like the same plot as the other ones? I haven't, of course, you know, I'm admitting that I have not seen the other ones, but aren't the other ones just the same plot? So I didn't see the other ones. It's a much different plot. Well, we got 24 24 Galtas. Gotcha. So Homecoming has no origin story, so it's much different. So I should so I should watch it. Okay. Ooh, got a rare. Hey, Swift Blade Vindicator. That's a cool one. Alright, one on one. That's what Hadana's Climb does. Hadana's Climb just ends the game. No, Burly Man, you don't have to Yeah, don't need to apologize by asking questions. That's so I'm here. Um so trying to help my friend out who's just getting into arena and doesn't want to spend much money. Is there a way to start building his collection is to do sealed events with gold, right? And then use gems he wins for drafts. It's the other way around. Uh, you do drafting with gold and then um, use the gems for sealed. Other way around. Um, Mulligan. But honestly, the, the drafting... The drafting won't be like I would recommend waiting on the drafting until the new set at the beginning of February. I wouldn't rec I'd recommend saving up gold for the next like 15 days on drafting until which I guess February is yeah, so it's like 15 days away. Uh, yeah, so I'd recommend waiting on that. Because like right now like the drafting's going to be M19. That's not really worth it to draft. Yeah. So I'd wait till February until the, the new set's out. So right now, the next, like, 15 days is just, you know, like, just gaining a bunch of gold um, through the uh, through the free gold each day and everything. Hmm, interesting. They took Hadana's Climb, which was, like, the card I'd want them to take the most.
Yeah, competitive draft only... You can only use gems for that, though. You can't use gold for the competitive draft. And that, that starts on the 18th. Dang, Vivian down. So I certainly need to be a little cautious of... Cautious of Virtual Soot. So I'm not going to play the Steel Leaf Champion. I'm just going to attack him with these creatures here. Alright, well... Why do we have to draw all of our lands against the Grixis people? Remember when this was a one-lander? Two, four, five. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a real good card. Real good card. All right, we're back down to need 12 subs again. Yeah, 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 you got a Nikki B. Hmm. Alright, so I gotta put a counter on the Steel Leaf Champion um, to make that six power, or like five toughness, so they have to just jump block with Nickel Bolas now. Cards that could improve this build. Yeah, the new set has some real good two drops in green uh, that could that could be improved in the build um, right away. And like maybe making this teamer uh, for the riot enchantment, Domri teamer. You get Regisaur Alpha. Who knows? There's there's a lot of good creatures to be attacking the opponent with. Um, so we're playing against Grixis again. I think we, I am off Wild Growth Walker, and I want to cut Shave Down on these Dive Downs. And I, am, I want these, I want these, I want these, I want a couple of these. I don't want those, and I want to trim these. Okay, that looks a little better, I think. Than what we had last time. So, yeah, Vivian can destroy artifacts and enchantments. Um, so I don't have the Rex Age in. The Rex Age... The body just doesn't do a whole lot, and it dies to Ritual of Set. Hey, Big Papa Jack. Which, like, I don't... Like, that's why I have... That's why I put Ripjaw Raptors in instead of Rex Age or Brontodon, even though Rex Age or Brontodon may be a little better. Um, because I don't want to just have a ton of two and mana, two and three mana things that all die to ritual of set. Um, you know, I, I want to be able to play a four drop on turn four and not not have to um, get them all ritual sitted away. Okay. We going yeah, we're going Jade Light. Let's go Forest. Jade Light. I guess I could have just played Hinchelin Harbor there, but oh well. The, the reason why I'm going Jade Light here is because it certainly does look like you know, they're keeping this hand and they're not doing anything. This certainly looks like a ritual of set, and I don't really want my steel leaf to get ritual sitted away. Hmm. 
So now... Now it's Null Hide. I know... So Null Hide doesn't die to Ritual of of course, but I know I c I'm not going to be able to play Vivian next turn with this Null Hide in play. But the Null Hide's also just going to kill my opponent. Like, they're at 16. Null Hide's going to kill them quickly. So they have to get rid of the Null Hide. And whenever they do, it costs a lot of mana to get rid of Null Hide because you have to, like, pay two extra or something like that. And whenever they do get rid of Null Hide, then, um, then Vivian will come on down. All right, here I think I'd, I'd a sack Null Hide and then play Vivian and hit him for five. No. Nah, I hit him for six. Potentially this could be a 4-3. Nope. Alright, Carl Harpooner coming down in play also. So I have I have six power on the battlefield. So if they have like contempt for null hide, I still have lethal. Um, if they have a blocker for null hide, we still have lethal. You know, I certainly want to have lethal through that. If they if they pay four mana to Ritual of Soot away these two creatures, they're not going to be able to get rid of Null Hide, and Null Hide will kill them. So even if they have Ritual of Soot, they can't get rid of these. So I think this should just... They're going to need, like, like, Fungal Infection to, like, shrink one of my creatures and have a blocker for Null, null Hide. So they need, like, a... like a removal spell and a Fungal Infection. No, so just just two cards. Like, Fungal Infection plus Removal Spell would have done it. Uh, just to have a blocker for Null Hide. But they did not have it. All right. And... Uh, we are 2-1. and one. GG. Ugh. Oh no, another mulligan. This could be bad. This could be bad. All right, all right. We got turn turn two. Uh, Jr. Jr. Can refill our hand. Ugh, so many. Blue black decks. It's just blue black day. Well, JR did its job. Refilled our hand. Unfortunately, Galta is a basically a dead card. Hmm. Glacial Fortress. I don't know what that's all about. So now Jade Light doesn't die to Golden Demise if they have that. Ugh. Yuck. And that's why I kept the Branch Walker. Still one of the Branch Walker there. I'm gonna spread out over the stream. Uh, if we, all we need is one more sub for uh, for the 
for the 15 for like the 13th pack and so I'm going to open up one pack at the very beginning of the stream and then one pack every hour because I'm doing a 12 hour stream on Thursday so that's 13 packs one at the beginning and then one each hour after Let's that see if you're worthy that can't help you now so we'll open up one at 11 and then one at 12 one at one and so on so that's that's my plan now we're getting started. Hmm. Oh, keep that in hand. Uh, I need to keep that force in hand. Just forgot about this Elders Reborn. No, I'm not doing the event tomorrow. I'm taking tomorrow off. Um, to rest up for the 12-hour stream. All right, let's get more negates in. I think I'm gonna. I think I am gonna go Rex Age here against Esper. Trim dive down. Carnage Tyrant yes. Galton no. Climb no. Awesome, Penumbra. Awesome. So this is sixty one. A lot of threes. It's on Thursday, is the new set. I don't think they have a Thaumatic Compass. Um, but yeah, probably a bunch of ritual sets in. And everything. Sweepers are certainly bad for, like, you know, we're playing a, a creature deck. It's hard for us to beat sweepers. Um, that's, that's what we've been playing against. A bunch of decks that play sweepers, and that's kind of tough for us. Ooh, which one, Funk? This one? I hope I hope your favorite deck is Nia Legends or Demir Quasi-Sacrifice, because we may not be playing this one for too much longer. Okay, good draw, good draw. Let's get another land or two. All right, this one? Okay. Well, we're down a game. So we got to we got to rally back. Got to rally back. Keeping both cards. That's lucky. That's lucky. Uh, they're probably playing Teferi for white. They're like blue-black control, but playing Teferi because Teferi is a great finisher. Those are two horrible draw steps. Don't have any blue mana. gone horribly for us. Alright, we're back in it. Slightly. So this is likely Eldest Reborn, but then we Rex Age Eldest Reborn. Oh, they, okay, so they're just going to pay it and then, like, Contempt. So that's less Contempt for Vivian. We get Vivian in play? Ooh... Yeah, let's, let's Vivian. Look for a blue land. Comes. Hinterland Harbor. Wow. You just get you to untap with Vivian? Nature. That is great. Um... I'm gonna go with the Jade Light Ranger because they know about it and we still get to cast Negate.
I'm not going to fight over that fungal infection, though. I'd much rather counter a Teferi or something that kills Vivian. I'm not losing everything again. Alright, let's look for another blue source. The wilds are my shield. Alright, now I got double negate. Awesome. I think we got this one. Vivian just, you know, Vivian and Jade Light helping refill our hand. They're down to three cards. You know, like, them not having that Teferi earlier was certainly really good for us. Yeah, thanks, Serrano. I just saw that Serrano saying, enjoy your day off tomorrow. Thanks, yeah. I'm I'm not expecting to take another day off all month um, with RNA out, with Ravnica Allegiance out. Expecting to be streaming every day the rest of the month. Um, you know, and maybe more after that, but... At least that. Did our opponent get disconnected? Did we get disconnected? What's going on here? Yeah, end step chromium would, would certainly be a problem. For sure. And if you're not following the YouTube channel, so not only do I have a twenty or not a twenty four hour stream goal, oh dang, twelve hour stream goal. So I have So besides I'll be doing another 12-hour stream if we get to the next uh, the next emote goal. I'll also be doing a 12-hour stream if we get to, or I guess when we get to, 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So we're at 638 right now. And so you can check out the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Our opponent must have disconnected here. I like what I do, Fatal Sensation, and so I don't have any plans to do anything else. Um, I enjoy my life. Huh. Yeah, our poem must have disconnected. Well... We were gonna win that game. You know, I don't, I don't know if we would have got the game three, but we're, we're definitely going to get that game. So. Disconnection still count as wins. Ooh, good hand. We don't have turn two Steel Leaf, but we could play turn two Hedonis Climb. Hinchelin Harbor, is this a mirror match? Mirror match. That game did not uh, look good when you walked away. Yeah, well, we, we resolved a Vivian and got to tick up like four or five times with a Vivian. Um, so yeah, we had a, a grip full of cards. And our opponent, not so much. We had like seven cards in hand there too. And we had a Vivian in play. Uh, 
uh, we have an auto tap opponent, or not auto tap, but a manual manual tap opponent. It's always a little annoying. Hmm. So Hadana's climb is is kind of the worst card to play here. All right, good night. Give a little hug. Kind of the worst card to play because if they do have Ritual of Set, they then I can't really play other things. I can play like another climb. Dang. But into a likely counter spell. Like, it was just the card that I wanted, I would want to get countered the most. Steel Leaf Champion would get swept up also by a Ritual of Set. You had a horrible draft, but then you got past Carnage Tyrant. Nice. I'll take what stand aside. We just play against Ritual of Sid opponent after Ritual of Sid opponent. This is four out of five of our opponents have been Ritual of Sid decks. Besides like the one mono green person we played. These are all just blue, black, splash, whatever, control. We've played against Grixis and Esper. And now Sultai. It's just, just like the only deck today. Um I think we're going this. Play another Brontodon over a dive down. All right, let's do this. Oh man, four mana wrath. Uh, not looking forward to that. Killing all my sweet creatures. Four mana wrath. Boo. All right, we got our one hit on his climb. And don't have anything to do on turn one or turn two, but that's okay. We'll have this steel leaf champion. Steel Leaf into Null Hide. Land of Werewolf, you're killing us. <laughs> All creatures just have haste. I don't want land number six. Deck. All right, let's attack and play Null Hide. Play something that doesn't die to Ritual Asset. What's my favorite card out of Ravnica? My favorite card is Domri. Um, that's my favorite card. It's not necessarily the best card, but it's my favorite. You want it, it's time to step out of the shadows. Hmm. The problem with playing Hadana's Climb here, like I, I, I would kind of like to play Hadana's Climb, but the problem is now Eldest Reborn just completely wrecks us if I play Hadana's Climb. So I think I actually need to play the Llanowar Elf. And I'll just get this thing out of here. You'll pay for that. You're playing Gruel for the pre-release. Nice. DJ Hotness. I like it. Hmm. 
Interesting. So if they do have like six man of Raska or something to kill this Nullhide like that, they do have like a, a big planeswalker or something, then we should be able to resolve Vivian. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to play Mardu. Mardu Aristocrats I think is going to be a real good deck. With Judith and... Judith the Scourge Diva and Theater of Horrors and yeah, there's six man of Raska. Called it. Alright, so they they have to they can't minus to kill Nullhide, so they have to tick up. Stand down or prepare to die. Oh, never mind. Alright, they get to kill Nullhide. Just getting started. Every fight makes me sick. balance comes. Just taking the, the branch walker because I do get to cast it right now. I'd have to wait a turn for the null hide. We'll have a null hide next turn anyway. Enough. How long have I... Um, basically since World Wake. Is how long I've been playing. Um, magic. I played a little bit before whenever I was a kid, but realistically since World Wake. Uh... The tick up gave them the city's blessing there. But yeah, no, I'm not doing the streamer event tomorrow. Um, disinformation campaign. After sideboard. Fortunately, we were not able to, to punish them with having that earlier with our Null Hide Ferox. Meet so we're going to have three extra mana. Friend. That's enough for a Brontodon. Yeah, they still have Disinformation Campaign, but unfortunately they have Vraska Relic Seeker in play. Vraska Relic Seeker, real hard to beat. Soon you will be left with nothing. Um, oh, I'll certainly, I'll certainly Ultimate Vivian if I have the chance, but I don't think I'll have the chance. Because uh, they're going to be attacking it. Like, this pirate has Menace. So I can't block it. Even if they didn't have the removal spell there. But the Vraska making treasures means they get to keep drawing. <laughs> you have to do better than that. I don't. Like, we need Carnage Tyrant. There's got to be a Carnage Tyrant in here somewhere, right? We haven't seen one yet. Come to me. Yeah, their mini Vraska has been awesome. It's been a lot better than what Karn would be. It's been surprisingly good. I'm keeping Steel Leaf just because it's such a good card, but the problem with Steel Leaf is um, I can't play Steel Leaf plus Carnage Tyrant next turn. Sometimes Because I have 8 mana. Necessary. So if, if Vivian ticks up ticks up and finds a Carnage Tyrant. I can't cast Steel Leaf and Tyrant. But yeah, they're, they're Mini Vraska. Mini Vraska is real good against aggro decks whenever it can come down as Abrupt Decay. And especially against me with playing Steel Leaf Champions and like a lot of good juicy three mana targets to, to hit. Their Mini Vraska has been great. 
Oh yeah, sweepers been killing us, and planeswalkers with just removal with just repeated removal spells, killing us also. Looks like we're gonna be three and two. Scars are lessons written in skin. No one knows the wilds like I do. Uh, detection tower also? Yeah, this game's pretty over. Uh, now I'm they have detection tower. Detection tower. I mean, they can even, like, they would still even be able to, like, minus this for Aska, get it back next turn and everything. Show no mercy. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Opponent stack is, is certainly really good against creatures. Um, you know, and we're a deck full of creatures. That's... Yeah, that's what the opponent's deck is built to beat. I should be. I should have ticked up on the, the Vivian first before the, the Branch Walker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should have ticked up first because then the the explorer can draw you the land afterwards, or just kind of help help out your next draw step afterwards. You should leave before I make you disappear. I have built and tried this at Anastopi list, and I just can't win with it. Could be I don't mulligan right. Also, have you untamed? Have you tried untamed Kavu in this list? I have not, but I, I kind of like Untamed Kavu, honestly. Everyone is expensive. Um, yeah, I kind of like Untamed Kavu. Well, we're getting we're getting beat up real bad right now. No, I only I just use this tie knot. This is my favorite. Try not the full winter. All right, three and two. So, removal heavy decks are of course going to be kind of a problem when we're just playing, you know, creatures, uh, especially decks that can just handle our Steel Leaf champions and Nullhide Feroxes so easily, and just have Planeswalkers that can keep killing those over and over again. That's just the those are the decks that we lose to, and that's what we played against here. So we got a couple of Rivals of Ixalan rares, Slaughter the Strong and Vona's Hunger. I think our deck is real good against aggro decks. Well, not mono white, but I think we're real good against mono red. Um, I think our creatures kind of line up there. And and just other like creature decks uh, where we get to Hadana's Climb and fly, like the board, board stalls, we Hadana's Climb, fly over the top. We saw that against another green deck um, where we had an easy win there. But yeah, decks with just... Lots of sweepers, real problem, and we saw lots and lots of sweepers. So, in the whole league, just every four of our five match matches were just ritual of set decks that just kept on killing our our steel leaves and jade lights real easily. So, all right, if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to that, hit that subscribe button, and of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.